This is Novatrope, an elegant kinetic sculpture that you might have seen on the internet. It creates an optical illusion of infinitely cascading motion, hence it is visually pleasing to look at. And, it's a very successful Kickstarter campaign. To learn more about this product, you can check out their official website. I wanted to see if I could make a DIY replica of it. So stay tuned till the end to find out. To make the DIY version of it, we need three things. ADC motor, I got mine from an old printer. Next, you need a light source. I am using 3 watt, high power, RGB LEDs for this. And finally, the sculpture or the Novatrope itself. The design files are available on Thingiverse. You can check out if you are interested to build something similar. Link is in the description. I started with designing the PCB. It's a very simple design. We have three RGB LEDs on the top side. And on the bottom side, we have the LED driver circuit. This is the same circuit that I have used for my new Pixel XL project. Then we have a rotary encoder and an 80 tiny 85 microcontroller to control everything. After designing the circuit, I send it to PCB Bay for manufacturing. Special thanks to PCB Bay for sponsoring my projects. In the meantime, I started designing the custom housing for the electronics. So I exported the board design in Fusion 360 and designed an enclosure for it. It consists of two parts. The bottom part will hold the DC motor and the LEDs will be on the top part. Once the design was finished, I printed it with my Ender 3. A few days later, I got the PCBs at my doorstep. The PCBs turned out pretty great. After assembling all the components, this is how the PCB looks. I then separated the encoder part from the LED part and made three more LED boards. All the LED boards will be connected in parallel. So we effectively have to control one LED. We also need DC power connector and the 3D printed enclosure. The two parts perfectly snap fit into each other. The power connector will go here, like this. And the encoder PCB, will go here. The LED PCBs will be mounted on the top. Then we have the 3D printed sculpture. I also made this little coupler to join it with the motor shaft. And this also snap fit into place. This is the code for this project. We have used the Adafruit NeoPixel library for this. The strobe effect is created by turning on and off the pixels at a set interval. Then, we read the input data from the encoder and set the mode accordingly. Currently, we have four modes on this. Setting the brightness of red, green, and blue color and changing the blinking interval. By pushing the button on the encoder, we can switch between the modes. After assembling everything, this is how it looks. So let's power it on, and see how it works. 